Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We have a wonderful guest in studio. It's Brian Sims. He's a business litigation attorney from Sims Law Firm. Brian, welcome. Thank you. I am so excited to have you here because we've had a little chance to chat and you were just so nice. Well, thank you. I'm thrilled to be here myself. You know, I think we think business litigation and, and we don't know what that means. So help me out. Sure. So the first part of the litigation, that means I go to court a lot. Okay. Uh, I spend a lot of time <laughs> hanging out in courtrooms, talking to judges and other, other attorneys. The business part means that most of the time uh, when I'm in court, I'm arguing over some sort of business transaction, uh, often a contract dispute of one sort or another. And you help all sizes of of businesses, small to big. Absolutely, uh, and uh, I, I represent uh, individuals, individuals who own businesses, small businesses, medium-sized businesses, uh, whoever needs help, uh, I'm glad to help them out. And what, what type of cases are, are we thinking that fall into this? So uh, really you're looking at a lot of contract disputes, whether they're in the employment arena, such as non-competes or non-disclosure agreements. Uh, Real estate uh, arena do a fair amount of real estate litigation, whether it's in uh, the actual construction or what's called a mechanics lien, okay. uh, uh, which is when the contractor doesn't get paid and there's a fight over a fight over that. Uh, or it can just be a, a simple uh, contract dispute between two individuals who signed a contract with each other and one or both of them aren't happy about it. Now, I would think that. Um when we're thinking about, that people don't hire you soon enough, that we probably are way more in trouble as a business owner or a business employee um, before we come and see you. Absolutely. A lot of times what I find is that <laughs> when I get a case, the problem is really in the contract. Okay. That it, it doesn't say what one or both sides really thinks it says. And then if uh, the client had seen me at the beginning, spent a little money up front on what we call the transactional side, uh, getting the transaction all papered properly, making sure that the contract does say what they want it to say or expect it to say, uh, that a lot of times that avoids the litigation process down the road. Obviously not everything is foreseeable, <laughs> right? but uh, uh, you can spend a lot less money uh, hiring me at the beginning uh, for the transaction then hire me at the end for the litigation which is very expensive right well because it's uh, I'm under the impression that litigation is a long process a litigation is a long process the uh, the state Supreme Court actually studies it and uh, the average in this area anyway is about three years from the date you file a lawsuit till the date it's resolved and uh, certainly a lot of cases are resolved sooner than that but there are plenty that are resolved after that as well. So a little bit of, of seeing you first might help. Absolutely. And I finally, I've got one client who's trained. She said, I won't sign anything until I run it by, by you first. That's, if, if I could get more clients to do that, I think they'd be in a better shape. Right. Well, and I think it's, I think it's, I, I hope this, um, that people tune in and, and get to meet you a little bit because I think it's knowing a lawyer because I think that's half the battle is trying to find out who we can talk to. And then we, we're always concerned about how much it's going to cost and how you bill. I don't think anybody really is clear on that. So, uh, so because you are so nice, tell me a little bit about how that works. How do I hire you? Or Certainly. So uh, in terms of hiring me, you know, contact me. And uh, generally what I do is I'll just set up a meeting. You come in, we'll sit down and we'll talk about uh, what your problem is and figure out what it is that you want to try to achieve. And as part of that process, we talk about uh, what the cost would be. And a lot of times that cost depends on what exactly your legal situation is. Right. So if it's uh, a transactional situation, we're working on a contract or something, uh, by meeting and talking about it, I can get a pretty good idea of what we're, what we're looking at. And often I do that on a, just a flat fee basis that we agree on. If you've got a really difficult, complex litigation, that's going to be just on an hourly mm -hmm. basis because a lot of times the things that happen are, uh, can't all be predicted with accuracy. Right, a little bit out of your control. That's right. Um, one of you, uh, the thing that I thought was really interesting is that uh, one of your philosophies is technology has made um, litigation and, and thus lawyering a lot easier. 
Tell me a little bit about that. Certainly. Uh, I, I like to say leveraging technology uh, it puts us on a, the platform uh, with much larger law firms. Okay. As solos and small firms, we can do things today that even a decade ago uh, we couldn't dream of. They, things that were available only to large firms with really large budgets. And, and what I'm talking about is as simple as accessing our files when we're outside of the office, that we don't have to carry boxes of paper around with us anymore. Uh, that we don't have to search through that paper a page at a time, that we wow. can use the resources of technology to search in seconds, literally what would have taken uh, days, weeks, or months in the past, that we can do that. And I can do that as a solo attorney uh, the same way that a, an attorney at a huge firm in Chicago can do it. That's awesome. Now, you also bring some pretty um, significant background into your into your firm because you've you've clerked and so you've got a real understanding of things. Tell me a little bit about your background. Uh, certainly. So when I first graduated law school, I worked for the Illinois Appellate Court and out in Elgin. And after I'd worked there a couple of years, I had the opportunity to clerk for an Illinois Supreme Court justice, Ratchie, and he's from wow. DuPage County. He was a great guy to work with, and so I, I was there with him on the Supreme Court. Uh, for a little over a year, and that was a great... That's about a dream position. Yeah, it was absolutely fabulous, and uh, I I loved every minute that I was there. And then after I left there, I joined a firm here in Naperville, a small firm here in Naperville, and I worked there for about 10 years before I went out on my own. How does all that wrap together for you and help you help your clients? You know, a lot of what I saw when I was working at the appellate court and the Mm -hmm. Supreme Court, just seeing the what's happening behind the scenes, uh, what most attorneys never see or get an idea of what's going on, that can help shape how I shape a litigation or argue a matter in front of the trial court in case there's a problem. We have to take it up on appeal at some point in time. Right. I bet it's it's sort of like knowing, you know, a little bit behind the scenes. Absolutely. What's the best part of your day? What do you like most about this, Brian? Uh, What I like most is whenever I can accomplish something that really helps one of my clients. Uh, One of the reasons I love doing uh, transactional real estate, helping people buy and sell houses, because when they get done, they're happy. Uh, that's, that's not always the true in litigation. Even if they win, it's been a long process. But uh, in a lot of transactional stuff, people are just really happy at the end of that. That's awesome. Well, thanks so much for stopping by. We wish you a lot of luck. You are just a super nice guy. Thank you very much and for having me. I appreciate learning a lot about your world. So we're going to be right back with more Business Connections. Stay tuned.